Hi, we're here with Federica Tucci of TFL Tours. Hi, Federica. Hi, Todd. A couple questions for you. Good. Um, how long have you been in business? I founded my company at the end of 2006 after having worked for another four years uh, in another travel agency. So I would say on the overall it's about uh, uh, nine years now. And uh, how long have you been working with uh, Ensemble? I became the non-location partner for Ensemble at the end of 2007, so four years. And uh, if you have a, an Ensemble member that uh, would like to get in touch with you with a request, mm -hmm. um, what kind of average response time can they expect from you? Good. We immediately acknowledge receipt of the emails that we receive from Ensemble agents. Then, of course, it really depends on the kind of uh, program they wish to receive from us. If it's a simple transfer or maybe a guide service, it can also be sent uh, within one day. If it's a more com detailed program, it may take a week or 10 days, but for us it's very important to communicate with the agents mm -hmm. and we always tell them immediately how long it's going to be to, to get back to them. And so for contacting them or, or getting back uh, to them, is uh, online email the only way or can they reach you a 1-800 number? Yeah, mm, well, email is the best way to get in touch with us, of mm -hmm. course, because we read emails also from our Blackberries 24 hours mm -hmm. a day, I would say. But uh, we don't have an 800 number. We have an office number and uh, we have a list of uh, mobile numbers that they can call us at if they need to speak to us, of course. Okay. And um, if you quote an itinerary for a member, is there uh, a charge for that? Well, we strongly believe that uh, Ensemble agents know their clients, so we usually don't ask for a fee um, to create a program for them. Of course, as I told you, communication is the most important thing for us. And uh, in case the agent feels that the client is not uh, a client that they know so well and the program is a very detailed one, mm -hmm. well, we can decide with the agent to apply a kind of uh, fee to create the program, but just in case the agent uh, wants us to do so, otherwise we don't uh, we don't put any fee for that. Okay, and then speaking of fees, uh, what sort of uh, payments uh, do you accept? Well, we accept uh, credit card payments or wire transfers. It depends on the agent. Some agents prefer to pay with the credit card of the client, so we usually quote the agents net. They add the markup, and then we charge uh, the gross amount on the credit card of the client. Um, if they prefer to pay net, it's fine, no problem. They can wire the money to our bank account. Okay. And how about uh, commission, the, yes. the commission uh, rates or fees? How, how does that uh, commission structure work? Yes. Uh, we usually send the commissions to the agents after the services are over. This is simply because sometimes the clients, once they arrive, they do some changes Sometimes they also want to add more services and they contact us directly, but we always protect the commission of the agents. So we always add something more for the agents. After the services are over, we contact the agent and we tell them exactly the, the amount that they have as a commission and we wire the money to them. It could be made uh, every month if it's uh, an agent that uh, works with us uh, frequently or mm -hmm. uh, quarterly, it depends. We usually talk with the agents and we decide uh, how often to send commissions to them. And if, if a member does uh, create an itinerary and a, a booking with you, what happens if a trip is cancelled uh, due to some unforeseen circumstance? Well, the most probable event in Italy, in my country, is uh, shore excursions. We do lots of private shore excursions it could happen that the ship skips the port due to bad weather or a decision of the captain. So in this case, we have decided to refund the client entirely. This is something special that we do only for ensemble clients. Well, by the way, we work only for ensemble. We are not part of any other association. So we strongly believe that uh, we could increase the business of private shore excursion. And in this case, we refund the client entirely even if uh, maybe we have to pay our suppliers, but we take mm -hmm. the risk. Yeah. Okay. What form can uh, members expect uh, their documents from you to arrive in? Uh, E-docs or paper docs or what, what sort of format? Usually we send e-docs, of course, mm -hmm. that makes things easier. We mm -hmm. usually make uh, um, travel. First, we, when we prepare the program, we send the itinerary, very detailed itinerary to the 
to the agents with all that the program includes and what is not included. And um, it's an e-doc, uh, e mm -hmm. um, usually word format. So if they want to change something, it's usually in our headed paper, but if the uh, client wish, they can also put it on their headed paper if they prefer. Okay. And we really just have uh, one more point to cover. Um, what's your, your policy on your guides dealing directly with um, members, clients that are on your tours? Well, we know all our guides and drivers one by one, so we're like a big family. Mm -hmm. um, this is the reason why they know that we have to protect the agents. Also, when the, the clients go to them and, uh, well, and ask them the business card they never give them, they say that they work for us, and uh, most of the time they, they say that they are exclusively working for us, so that this, uh, this is not a risk for the agent. Fantastic. Thank you very much. And that's everything, Federica. Thank you. It was a pleasure. A pleasure. Thanks. Thank you.